Today, we set an entire booster box on fire. We open up the fake booster box of Darkness Ablaze, find out how good they are, how bad they are, and then when we're done, we set them on fire. Welcome back my Chase family, fellow card chaser here, Pokey Hand. And here we have a fake booster box of Sword and Shield's Darkness Ablaze. They've re-released these, maybe because there's been a resurgence of the uh, Charizard VMAX. I'm not quite sure why, but yes, you heard in the intro, we'll be setting this booster box on fire when we're done with it. So make sure you stick around for that one. And I'll be doing a few different things with booster boxes. I'll be opening up uh, another booster box where I'll be running over it with the back tire of the car, find out exactly how well they crush. We're gonna maybe deep fry a booster box, set a booster box on fire, maybe run over one with a lawnmower. We'll find out. So I'm gonna do a prize wheel of destruction where we spin the wheel, find out how we're gonna be destroying the booster boxes or booster packs. All right, remember, if you enjoy these kind of videos and this terrible box, which doesn't even work properly. So we're back to that, are we? Where it just doesn't want to work. Is that how it is? Yep, that's how it is. All right. They've got the booster packs the wrong way around. How ironic. Now, let us open up about half of these booster packs and then we're going to set the other half on fire. See how well it burns, shall we? All right. <coughs> Ditto, right? All right, guys, let's find out. Whoa, this is horrible. It's like a promo booster pack. There's no writing on it whatsoever. This is gonna look horrible, isn't it? It feels incredibly light and that just ripped open like there was no tomorrow. All right, can you do the card trick? I think I saw the card. Well, I didn't see the card, but let's just find out. All right, so the upside down, this is gonna be terrible. Already glossy off the bat. Wow, these feel, you could like slide on these, like a water slide. Oh, there we go. There's the VMAX there. What else do we have here? We've got Mel Metal there. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Nothing too fancy. Obviously, no incline. Let us find out. I assume this is just going to be a flat sticker. Or is that going to be any kind of... No. Yeah, it's a sticker. All right, that's fine. Oh, let's open up the Charizard. All right. I'm also going to be comparing some real cards to fake cards from the Temporal Forces and Twilight Masquerades. You know, the real booster packs versus the fake booster packs to find out, you know, what the difference is on the inside and how bad they are when you look them up close. Rayquaza a VMAX, not too bad. Pretty sure I pulled that when they, well, they redid it in the Crown Zenith. All right, which is, you know, that was like a really good card everyone was after. All right, let us open up all these packs in one foul swoop. And I'll be right back. All right, so now we have all the packs open. We're gonna straight away get into it to find out how bad, how horrible they are, because they've gone backwards massively with this booster box. So they re-released this, and I'm not quite sure what they were thinking and why they didn't make it any better. All right, so there we go. And this Suicune's supposed to be a holo, right? Because you can just, just tell that it's photocopied the holographic pattern, because it just looks awful. All right do this we do that we'll save it for the end and then we flip it upside down all right hoop dark rye god i hate that topo loco tapu koku whatever you want to call it sun and moon set all right there we go rillaboom v max doesn't look too bad from a distance up close very very glossy i'm going to assume that when i burn these they're going to absolutely stink of like really bad plastic or something because it feels like they're made out of plastic all right, let us find out how bad this card... Oh, yeah, yep, that's pretty dark. All right, we've got ourselves the giant flat worm centipede thing. All right, so we'll do that there. We'll just do the card trick for it. Why not? Have a bit of fun with these fake packs. Remember, if you like the fake opening, subscribe. Help evolve this channel. We've got ourselves a Crobat VMAX. All right, we do a lot of fake openings on the channel. Real openings as well, but I like to focus on the fake a bit more than the real as of late because it's just fun to do I'm gonna do a bit more like comparing the two different sets like the fake set and the real set you know the pack art things like that see how bad they look compared to the fake ones real ones because sometimes even the real cards don't look that good I mean like when they first showed the um, EX GX we're gonna call it when they first showed that in the um, set it was like a they were pretty like dark and stuff and weren't very good compared to the v max and the v star and things like that 
So like I do miss the V Max, the V Star, those kind of cards. I do miss those, but oh, that looks really bad. Look how off that is. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, so poor Scizor. Behead the bug. There we go. Nothing special in that one. Now, so far they've been a bit consistent in terms of like, in terms of like you know, uh, for example, you put this at the back, and these seem to be the right way around. But it's always the last card, which is you know the one that's either upside down or the wrong way around. So they they there's a consistency with how you can do it, like that, and then you do that, but still nowhere near as good as the other booster boxes I've opened. And I've opened up a lot of fake booster boxes. I don't know how many, I've lost count. All right, see, upside down, Skarmory there. Let's find out how bad this last card is. Boom, right there, a giant tree. Tree from Kirby, first enemy in Kirby. All right, God, it's so awkward when they're upside down like that. God, I hate Dracovich, kind of. All right, we've got this Umbreon VMAX. It doesn't look too bad. Let's behead the poor dog. There we go. Down to a final two packs, and then we get to set him on fire. Fantastic. All right. It's going to be great, unless a fire brigade comes out, because I set the whole place on fire. If they ask, how did I do it? I wanted to burn Pokemon cards. Burn it with this bastard right here. All right. Well, it's actually fitting. Fitting that we've got Charizard here. Didn't mean for that to happen. That was a happy accident there. All right, can I do this properly? Save it to the end. Mel Metal, you're gonna be melting very soon, Mel Metal. Doug Trio, what are we ending the card on here before I set him on fire? Got us a Jolteon VMAX. All right, behead the dog, just like that. Now let's go set him on fire, and until next time, I'll see you in the next chase. Mm -hmm.